the social democratic government brings the new mandatory military, the national security law. Sanchez prepares a regulation that will give full powers to the president to decree a state of exception and that will limit individual freedoms for situations that the rulers arbitrarily consider special, including terrorism. The social democratic government is once again preparing its legislative artillery tending to cut freedoms, to police and judicial abuse. As usual, it has to be a left government that does this type of dirty work to defend the interests of power, something that the right does not dare. We have historical examples, such as the main labor reforms that have cut rights to the working class or, closer to the case that concerns us, the Corcura law of the kick in the door, approved by a socialist government and that authorized the security forces and bodies to enter a home without the endorsement of a judge as long as they had a well-founded knowledge that would lead them to the certainty that a crime was being committed or had just been committed. When, by decision of a prime minister, a state of crisis is declared in Spain, all citizens without exception must comply with the orders and instructions issued by the authorities. This regulation, still in preparation under the name of the National Security Law, draws from the constitutional source that regulates the mandatory military service, specifically Article 30 of the Constitution, Spaniards have the duty and right to defend Spain, this national security law is justified in the pandemic situation, although the government will take advantage, as all governments have always done, to put in the same bag those who bother them or those who consider terrorists a lazy concept with very serious criminal consequences that the same is used to put jihadists who plant bombs in jail as well as some Basque kids who have a bar fight with civilian civil guards, all to suitcase. We suppose that, as has already been done at other times in history, the day is not far off when we anarchists will be included in the same bag. To start trembling. This national security law will protect the so-called National Security Council, an advisory body of the president made up of ministers, general directors, defense officials and presided over by the king. In addition to the fact that this law will provide legal protection for the arbitrariness of power against the civilian population, it is also intended to replace all popular initiatives spontaneously generated during crises, mutual support actions not regulated by the state in which the population gave example of solidarity and organization in extreme situations and without state protection. The law is very broad and will allow the authorities from the temporary requisition of all kinds of goods, to the intervention or provisional occupation of those that are necessary or to the suspension of all kinds of activities. The law excludes the payment of compensation to those who are obliged to make a personal benefit for the state. The danger is that this law does not specify when and in what circumstances it can be applied, so it is assumed that, in addition to health emergency situations such as the one experienced with the COVID, it can be applied in other aspects that endanger the status quo of the state network. And the fact is that Article 30 is not very specific in this regard either, since its fourth article speaks of by law. The duties of citizens may be regulated in cases of serious risk, catastrophe, or public calamity. Regulations can also oblige associations and organizations to work for the state, not just individuals. The law may also oblige a media to collaborate with the competent authorities in the dissemination of information of a preventive or operational nature. Although in this case there will be no problems, because the harmony between the mass media and the political end. Economic power has never been in such a good moment. The main criticisms from the system to this draft are that, if approved as it is now, it would configure a scenario in which jurisdictional control is diluted. In addition, its lack of definition is evident, both in the cases that would give rise to the eventual suspension of some rights and in what the personal benefits should be. On the other hand, this law would generate a great legal uncertainty, which would allow the arbitrary action of authorities, judges and police since neither the assumptions that would give rise to the annulment of some rights, such as the right to work, are listed, nor is it done list of what these personal benefits should be. In short, this law, which gives broad powers to the president, is perfect for generating abuses of authority, much greater than we currently suffer, with the permanent criminalization of social movements and protests. In any case, if it is carried out, it would entail a reinforcement of militarism and the reintroduction of militaristic values in society, as the comrades of La Tortuga say. It will be a good time to rethink once again the insubordination to the state to put this law into effect. The pandemic has been a laboratory of experimentation by the power to authoritatively rehearse the conduct of a crisis. With this law, 
They say from La Tortuga now they are going further and are going to reimpose the draft, the great ideal of spiritualization and servile acceptance of the barracks and fearful society that they are building, this law will be a new mechanism. That will allow the government to impose personal benefits on the population without the need to declare tedious and complex states of alarm that are also constantly being thrown down by the judges, as we are seeing these days. On the other hand, we want to avoid, as I pointed out above, that society acquires a leading role in self-organization, which has happened in many parts of the planet. During this crisis and which makes our leaders nervous, since it undoubtedly questions the usefulness of the state, in addition to its effectiveness. This law would monopolize from above and not from below, the management of serious crisis situations and would be imposed by force against other alternative and horizontal forms of organization. Nando Tomil, CNA Asturias.